Hey, it's Michael from Alaska. Hey, praise the Lord. You know, I know a lot of the other pre-tribbers. This is a pre-tribber like-minded ministry page. Our videos. You know, um, boy, the post-tribbers, it's like they don't want, they, they just want to call you false prophets, whatever. They just want to label you something. And it's like, go do something for Jesus. Go love somebody. Go help somebody. Go encourage somebody. Go pray for somebody. Do something for the Lord instead of disliking all the comments and sending all the comments that are getting deleted anyway. You know, it's just so funny that that no matter how many times Jesus talks about escaping in the Word, be kind of where you escape all these things, Revelation 3.10, all these other scriptures, they want to find a million, try, try to twist a million scriptures to say that we get, are stuck here for the tribulation and children are going to be tortured. That's what you're saying. Children will be tortured because they're trying to say we're all going to be stuck in the mess and so they're going to beat our kids and beat them and beat the crap out of them. We're going to watch millions of people die while we're in concentration camps and millions of people are going to die and kids are going to be tortured, you know, because, you know, we don't escape is what they're saying. And they're going to try to tell you, well, if you don't take the mark, and we're going to beat on your kids. That's not, that's not God. God the protector like he was with Noah. Did Noah see all the devastation? No. Noah was protected. Not everyone's called to be martyrs. There's only a few called to be martyrs. Now those who are left behind are just flat out foolish and will have to give their life for Christ to make it home. Thank God there's a second chance. In Noah's day, there wasn't a second chance. But anyway, I had to vent for a minute because I'll probably get another dislike in this video from the same mosquito um, that keeps wanting to try to sting people instead of doing something for Jesus. You know, it's like, just come on. I love you. I'm just picking on you by the same mosquito, but I love everybody. But anyway, now that I've been in for a minute, because you know how post-trippers are, they just like to keep, you know, messing with us. But anyway, we know from the word we escape. I wanted to um, read. Um, I had a watcher who um, sent me a video to check out about this word that was given a while back about prepare for departure. Another watcher got that same word. It was pre trivers got the same word, prepare for departure. And there is a scripture in 2 Timothy. Uh, I believe it's, let me give you the scripture here. 2 Timothy 4, 6 through 8 that I really like. It says, for I am now ready to be offered, and the time on my departure is at hand. I have fought a good fight. I have finished my course. I have kept the faith. Henceforth, there is laid up for me a crown of righteousness, which the Lord, the righteous judge, shall give me at that day, and not to me only, but unto all them also that love is appearing. You know, and I love that part. He says, the time on my departure is at hand. You know, and that, then the video he sent, he sent a video and, um, about um, that, you know, a couple, well, I know about this lady hearing that the departure is at hand. And then another watcher just heard the same message. Another watcher is recently here in Shofar Blast. All these different things are going on. And what's interesting was the video length was 7 minutes, 31 seconds. And we said, why is that? I've said it a million times. It's my son's birthday. Zechariah. Zechariah means the Lord remembers his promises. He remembers his covenant. John 14 3 go to Exodus 19 4 and then go back to John 14 3 I will come again and receive you on again uh, receive you again unto myself that where I am you may be also you pray common worthy escape all these things Oop, we escape you know you know and man you know um so anyway praise God the Lord is just speaking you know he's showing us that he's remembering his covenant and he's coming like lightning you know, I mean, the Lord's going to shock the post-tribbers when this, this thing goes down. Because the post-tribbers are swearing up and down with their life that there's going to be no rapture. But when the catching away does happen, because they're saying, oh, we're going to lose faith in Jesus Christ if the rapture doesn't happen. We're going to turn our back on God. Look, we're here. You know what? Our faith is solid for the Lord Jesus Christ. It's not about, he, he tells you to be faithful now because he's coming like a thief in the night. We're not going to quit loving Jesus. We're already dealing with persecution of the post-rivers and the wolves and the Pharisees. We're dealing with persecution of the hatred of the world. And we still haven't turned our back on them. Look, you, you fall in love with Jesus, you're in love with Jesus forever if you truly love him. Man, you don't fall out of love with him. He's our strength and rock. And it's a lie from the devil that our kids are going to be tortured in concentration camps. Because that's what post rivers are saying. We're all going to be tortured and beaten and killed and suffer greatly for Christ. 
No, that's only the ones left behind. And it won't be the children, because all children under age of accountability will be taken out. Now, praise God. I just had to share that. Video 731. He remembers this cover, remembers past. And you go look at Exodus 19.4 and John 14.3. They relate together so well. But anyway, um, you guys, I wanted to play something for you really quick. It's a preview. You might have heard it by Sunday morning rapture. Now, we know that half the church or less might go because five taken, five left. But listen to this. I know you guys might have heard it already. Sunday morning rapture preview. You may be at church. You may be at work. That's pretty cool. You may be asleep. God grant that you will be ready when he makes his personal appearance. Catches us away. Praise My God. God. What if his appearance occurred on a Sunday morning? Hallelujah. What if we're caught up on that Sunday morning coming to the Lord? Hallelujah. Praise God. If Jehovah came back right now, would you make it? Hell is a real place, and I don't want you to go there. We've been reporting on the bizarre phenomena that seems to be taking place not just in this country, but all over the world. Getting angry at God isn't going to solve anything. Don't but dad me, young lady. I didn't say you can see that boy when we get to church. This is not the way it's supposed to be. It's so wrong. We've all been left behind. It's shock and horror. It's going to be joyful for those who are raptured, but it's going to be sad. Those who are left behind. Shocking horror for those left behind. Now there's this person that's talking right now is was in a church that like a bunch of people got left behind in the church. You know, in the church building. But anyway, that was just that was just a pre, that was a preview of the Sunday morning rapture it was done in November 2011. You guys, you know what? They got the alien deception all set up. It's all right there. You know, just keep your hearts love all, forgive all, live for Jesus. You know, don't get your hearts cold like a lot of post trippers are. They, man, they just like love people. You know, let's just agree to disagree and just love. You know, we're going to have to find out, man. Martial law is coming fast. You know, MTV's running martial law commercials right now, three different kinds of martial law commercials. Man, praise God. I love everybody. And they're the one that keeps hitting dislike on my videos and sending me messages that I keep deleting. I love you. Just love. Can you just love? You know? Instead of trying to, you know, it's like he's a Holy Ghost Jr. trying to run around saying, this is what you are, you are, you are. You know what? You're not God. Stop trying to torment people. Stop trying to throw, twist scriptures to say things that aren't true, you know, to say. Jesus loves you. Wake up. Don't, don't, man, love people. Anyway, you guys, I'm fetting a little bit because, you know, it's just like, why is it, you know, it, why don't you just go live, you know, why don't you get a bunch of food, a bunch of guns, and go live in the mountains and hide from what's coming, you know? But, oh, I'm going to, I don't care how much they beat on me, I'm going to, I'm not going to take the mark, I'm going to die for Jesus. Let me tell you, the great tribulation is going to be pure hell. It's going to be hell on earth, and that's why God is going to rapture his bride from it. Man, but anyway, you guys, it's, I'll be glad when the Lord gets us out of here because then the post rivers can realize there was a rapture, you know, because there'll be a lot of them, if their heart is cold as ice, lukewarm, they're going to be left behind, you know, they better make sure they're walking in love, but you know, anyway, you guys walk in love, love one another, live, love, live and pray, I stole that from our friend, she's got a little mind over that, but anyway, I love you guys, hope you're having a blessed day, man. Whew, like lightning. But boom, the superhero, Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Praise his holy name. Hallelujah. That's why he wants us faithful right now, you guys. He said, because you've been faithful to persevere, I will keep you from the hour of trial to come upon the whole world. The faithfulness now, that's why he's coming for a bride that's ready. Matthew 25, 10. Because we are ready, the door will shut and we will escape all these things. Hallelujah. That's the words of Jesus, y'all. Matthew 25, there's um, talking about the coming in as the days of Noah. Those are the words of Jesus. Why does that why do people try to argue with the words of Jesus? One taken, one left. Matthew 25, 10. The door will be shut. You know? 
I mean, they're arguing with those words of Jesus, you know? I mean, you know, it's, I don't get it, man. It's the words of the King of Kings and Lord of Lords. But you know what? It's like some, some people just want the veil over their eyes, and they just want to argue. They don't want to see the whole thing for what it is. And they just want, they just, they just, hey, they want to be tortured for Jesus Christ. That's, you know, if they get left behind, they're going to get their opportunity. So, because they're going to have to die and have their head cut off for Jesus. Sorry, you guys. I'm just venting a little bit. But, man, I just like, come on, and just start loving people. Everybody, love, love, love. Love, joy, and forgiveness. You know, love one another. Man, you know, set their people. You know how many times they're just trying to call us false prophets or saying this or preaching this and that. And it's like, come on, y'all. Just to love one another. That's, see, Jesus said you're known by their love for one another. You'll know my disciples. They'll know my voice. You know, and they'll have love one for another. Instead of trying to, you know, it's, it's like, why are you trying to convert Christians instead of just going to help people in the world get to know Jesus? Stop trying to convert Christians. Agree to disagree and move on and do something for Jesus. Love y'all. Have a blessed day. Hallelujah. Our mission is to touch this world, to be fishers of men. And, and to encourage and to love and man so many people just keep tearing down so-called christians tearing one another down tearing one another down lift up and build up the body of christ love people it's okay for post-trippers and pre-trippers to disagree i'm not trying to convert post-trippers you know i'm not but you know i'll let them think what they want they got a free you know free will to think what they want but i look in the scriptures you know open-mindedly the whole thing we escape but let's agree to disagree and love one another. Anyway, you guys, I'll probably be watching you guys. If you check my videos, you'll see a dislike there probably. Because they'll probably be fuming or he or she get fuming. That, But you know what? We love them. We love everybody. Hope you're having a blessed day. The king is coming quickly like lightning. Thank you for hanging out in this video. Love you guys. God bless.